Hi, welcome along. Thankful Thursday. This is Thankful Thursday. I'm Audrey. And I'm Christina. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we're so pleased to be here with you again for this Thankful Thursday. Yeah. Love it. Oh, it's such a good one, isn't flexibility. it? Flexibility. <laughs> maintaining the flexibility and maintaining flexibility as you age is so important, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, we're all about yoga. Like everyone, I love that, you know, I can't do yoga because I'm not flexible enough. <laughs> I know, and I'm going to have to tell you that wee story that um, one of the other yoga teachers used to say, you know, it's saying you're not flexible enough to do yoga is like saying you're not dirty enough to have a bath. Yeah. <laughs> the point of yoga, <laughs> she says climbing into the, into the yeah. screen, the point of yoga is to improve your flexibility, maintain what you've got and improve it. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter where you start. Like I had, um, last night in my class, I had a young teenager, her mother had brought her along because she needed to do, she needed to improve her flexibility because she's a track and field athlete. And I said, okay, honey, you don't need to be able to touch your toes. Here's some blocks. Take your feet out wider, bend your knees, and if you really want to touch the floor, like, you know, pretend you are by touching the blocks. Because just bring the floor up a little. Exactly, lengthen your arms. So, yeah. the, so the thing is, um, if, if you're working with a great yoga teacher, they've got heaps of tips and tricks to meet you where you're at. That's right, to and to improve your flexibility and mobility. Yes. And to... Bring to life some of those things that you think, oh, I'll never be able to do that. Mm. Well, you might not be able to touch the floor or balance in space, but use the wall. Use yeah. a chair. Yeah. You know, be able to be innovative. And so that's the great thing about um, if you come in and work with us on flexibility, we're going to meet you where you're at because we know how good yoga is, but it has to be a habit. So I suppose that's... Tip number one. Absolutely. That to improve your flexibility and even to maintain what you've got, you need to be doing a little bit every day. Yes, or three times a week. But yeah. you know, just that, that there's that regularity of practice, consistency, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically you are, well, it, fundamentally you're moving your muscles in a different way. Mm. And the first time you do it, they'll go, oh, muscles will go, oh, no, I don't like this. Yeah. Second time, they'll, that third, fourth, fifth time, they still might not like it. Yeah. But after you do it repeatedly, you know, over a month, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, two or three times a week, you will be able to start noticing how you can reverse those issues that you've been having with stiffness and soreness. You know, and you can maybe even reverse that aging process. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Uh, <laughs> exactly. So, you know, if you're in your 60s or 70s or 40s or 50s or wherever you are, yeah. you've got the opportunity to do yoga and improve. Yes, absolutely. And that's all, like yoga is nothing more than a practice, right? So that like, that's yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yoga is a practice and it connects you and integrates you to yourself. And um, it, through the practice, um, through those daily flexibility stretches, those daily flexibility routines, um, you start to progress yourself and um, win back or take back some of that um, aging that happens through lack of mobility and lack of flexibility. That's right. Yeah. And so maybe the uh, <coughs> second tip or trick is that actually yoga helps you with your daily life. Yes. To be able to reach yeah. for that glass up yeah. there and yeah. not get a, a crack in your neck mm -hmm. or a sore back or to tie your shoelaces up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the types of moves that you do with yoga are for your whole body. Yeah. So it, it allows you to move your whole body and be comfortable walking up steps or on uneven ground. Mm -hmm. And, it, and the, the, the helping with the everyday life is that it's really functional movement and it's um, lengthening your muscles as well as toning your muscles. So you get strong as well as flexible. And I think I've been heard many a time <laughs> saying the gift of yoga for me was strength. Yeah. But it came, um, you know, it, it kept, maintained my flexibility as well. So, that, so um, when you start to age, you start to lose your strength and you start to lose your mobility and you start to lose your flexibility because everything starts to atrophy, right? So go kind of die. Um. <laughs> 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 and, and so yoga, 
like it reverses that and keeps you moving, but it's functional exercise because I've worked with people who are bodybuilders and heavy into gym workouts and stuff like that. And um, they still end up with the bad back and they still end up with the inability to stretch and all, they, they come to a yoga class and their faces are in excruciating pain because they're so bound up. They've lost the functional ability to tie their shoelaces to get out of bed without hurting themselves. That's right. To take a step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so certainly, um, you know, and we might all have aging parents or grandparents mm -hmm. or wherever they are, you, and you see those people that sort of walk flat-footed and they're shuffling and they're not lifting mm -hmm. their legs and those sort of things. And yoga, through the practice of daily flexible flexibility exercises that yoga mm -hmm. can provide, mm -hmm. you get a chance to move those um, muscles, yeah. reorganize where your bones are, yeah. get the blood flowing back into your body. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about the breath. No, but wow, I mean that oxygenation of the whole system. That's right, so you're actually being able to flood your body with oxygenated blood and also take away all the impurities and things that have built up in your system mm. and, and put them back through the waste system and get rid of them out of your body. Absolutely. So I suppose that would be, I don't know, we're, we're, we're probably... three, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to racing them racing through, but certainly, you know, improving your breath yes. uh, would be tip number three, really, wouldn't it? Even just breathing fully, allowing your whole... Um, mm -hmm lung and heart motion to actually work properly without being crunched over or um, mm. you know feeling like you're compressed. Mm. Absolutely, it, it, it definitely, um, if I think about all the yoga teachers I know, um, like their flexibility has maintained and their spine, their spine health has maintained and I think that that was, I remember reading in, in one book somewhere that um, the reason that people who practice yoga appear so vital and young and vibrant as they age is because they're maintaining that flexibility and mobility of their spine. Right. So their spine health is staying um, true to how it used to be because we, if we don't use it, we lose it. It's so true, isn't it? Yeah. So I suppose that's tip number four about um, your spine health because... Yes. If you think about the fact that we are upright beings, mm. although we spend a lot of time seated and driving and you know maybe not in the right position, actually being able to maintain your um, posture upright yeah. is a really important thing mm. to continue to function well in the world. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? yeah. So, um, what? Uh, we're, we're not talking about doing having to do yoga for an hour a day or anything, are we? No. So I suppose that would be tip number five is, yeah. you know, we're talking maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes of yoga. Yeah. Maybe if you could do that every day, but certainly if you could do it every second day. Absolutely. And I think um, my practice is about 45 minutes a day. Yeah. Well, I'm probably a little bit around there between 30 and 45 minutes. Yeah. Yep. Some days I'll do two hours. Um, some days I'll do a whole day, but you know, like, <laughs> not a whole day, but you know, like I'll, I'll go to a retreat and I'll actually do two so, hours, two hours, two hours. So, you know, like these are, some days are, are bigger than others. But um, starting out. Yes, for a beginner. That's right. If we're looking at yoga for a beginner, we're going to be looking at, you know, if you could do 10 to 15 minutes. Finding your flexibility and your balance and that's all. And your breath. Yeah, standing up tall, using yep. your feet. Yep. Um, yeah, and that's the main thing is just that daily yoga for flexibility, and just notice how it changes your experience or your state afterwards. Because ultimately, while while the practice of yoga is so good for you physically, it does elevate your mood. Yes, it it shifts your state. It energizes your whole system. And that vibrancy of um, life kind of floods back in. And it might not happen straight away. But um, it will happen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be a daily flexibility routine. Yeah. 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 And I think if you're really interested, you know, we've got our um, flexibility course, which is... Um, you can purchase for three months or um, lifetime access, but it's a 28-day practice. Yes. Of um, 
uh, week by week getting a theme for different parts of your body that you're going to be working on particularly that week and it includes yoga practice, meditation practice, bonus practices um, and definitely some um, tips and tricks to help you live your life in a better way um, and improve your flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. And this course is for beginners, so um, anyone can do it. And uh, don't ever kind of use the excuse that you're not flexible enough for yoga because that's your mind holding you back from a whole new way of experiencing living. That's right. And you can live really well when you improve and maintain your flexibility. Absolutely. Awesome. Namaste. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Namaste.